So the last 30 days, I was actually working 50, 60 hours a week and uh, getting a lot accomplished. And I was noticing, uh, I was noticing the the, pa the paths, P A T H S, the paths, my normal path. I started seeing these mushrooms start growing up. Mushrooms were just like everywhere. And I, I, th I thought about it for a week and I thought, what is that about? Where'd these mushrooms come from? Thought about it for a week, then another week, and then I finally just said, you yeah, know, let me, let me think about that. Why am I seeing mushrooms everywhere? So I looked up the word mushroom. It means to, uh, like a mushroom cloud, you know, to grow. A lot of growth. I don't know if it said growth exponentially, but just a burst of growth or sudden growth, you know. Because I did a lot. And I was working 50, 60 hours. I was doing a job, Uber, some remodel. I, I did a lot of, I did a lot. I got a lot accomplished. And the mushrooms were just growing up to, as, and, I, and I realized I was just in Walmart. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks that the mushrooms were just a reflection of what I was what I was doing, you know. Everything is a type and shadow. A mushroom is a type and a shadow of growth. And it's there's a if if you look the word up you'll see it means more than just growth but it, it's more of like a you know how fast growth it means something that's growing really fast because when you look you're out you walk out the door and the next day there's a mushroom there super fast growth right and so as you are doing the internal work as you're doing the external work even. But first, you got to do the internal work. The internal work and the external work have to be connected, you know. If you're going to do some external growth, you're going to have to be doing some internal growth, too. Especially if it's really fast growth. You're going to have to be turning some truth over in your mind constantly. The fasting, the meditation, the contemplation, the, the prayer, the you're going to have to turn the truth over in your mind. You're going to have to cut off the noise. If you really want to get to your state of freedom, like a freedom state, you're going to have to cut the noise off. Because see, the noise, the system noise is a, is a distraction. Actually, the system noise is designed to stop your growth. The devil doesn't want you to reproduce and produce and grow and reach out and pull people out of Babylon. He can't stop you. He's a defeated. He's he's already lost, but he can distract you. He can't stop you, but he can distract you. When you start to pull people up out of the miry clay, out of Babylon, out of their depression, out of their confusion, out of their uh, delusions. You start to pull people up and you start to grow. You have to grow. If, if you're pulling people out, you're going to have to grow too. You have to grow. It's, it's, it's reciprocal. Everything's reciprocal. <clears throat> so when you start to look at the overarching principles of the universe and you start to live according to those principles, it's going to be growth. Now the mushroom growth is all is really fast growth and the only way i know to to to, to step stay in that mode is serious fasting serious fasting because if you can stay in the fasting mode you're breaking the sine wave the fasting mode will break the sine wave so i i, I grew in uh knowledge of uh carpentry work, uh, 
ideas, concepts, medical stuff, uh, the overarching principles, the universal principles. I grew in many ways. Uh, in the last 30 days, as I look back compared to where, it's hard to see, when you're in the middle of it, it's hard to see yourself, but if you can look back, try to look back to where you, I should have took notes, I should have took notes. That's kind of, that's one reason I do videos, because I can look back at an old video and say, who is that person? That's not even me. I don't even know that person. I'm not the, I'm not that same person anymore. And so if you can get to that point where you're, you're moving to your new state moment by moment, day by day, week by week, hour by hour, minute by minute. You're moving to your new state. On the outside, everything's just repeating. But if you get better at the repeat, if you get better at the repeat, the faster you grow on the inside. If you can manage the repeat better, you grow on the inside better. I just had a car behind me. Now this is how the devil works through people. This is a matrix. This is a spiritual matrix. It's not a digital matrix. It's a spiritual matrix. Now the digital is a man-made matrix. But uh, the devil, the, the holographic matrix is spiritual. So I'm sitting here telling you how to grow and I'm telling you some of the stuff. And so this red car pulls up behind me. It's a turning lane. He doesn't even need to be in this lane. He gets up right real close, like he's going to ram into me. And then he sees that there's a big trucker in front of me. Traffic slowed down like crazy. Then he just gets real close and turns to the next lane and keeps going straight. He didn't need to turn. And he didn't need to act that way. And it was a red car. Red is usually trouble. Somebody who's driving a red car usually has a lot of stuff. They need the blood covering. I mean, a solid red car, somebody needs the blood covering. They're doing something they shouldn't be doing big time, most of the time. It's a pattern. I'm sorry if you drive a red car. I'm just sorry. There's something you're doing probably in your pattern in your life that you shouldn't be doing. I'm serious. I mean, I wish I, I wish I'm not judging. I'm just telling you the hologram, the blood. It don't take a lot of doesn't take a lot of blood to cover your sin, but if you got red everywhere, something going on. The blood of Jesus cleanses from all unrighteousness. If somebody's continuing continuing in something, it's just a continual blood covering. There might be who knows what's going on. And somebody's going to get mad, I know. That's all right. I'm just telling you the truth. Watch what happens. when. Watch what happens in 10 years. You're going to look back and you have a different color uh, vehicle. And you're going to say, oh, I was living in a way I shouldn't be living. I was thinking in a way I shouldn't be thinking. I was yoked up with something I shouldn't be yoked up with. Why do you think the police pull their cars over that are red more? Police pull the red cars over more. Why? It's a hologram. I'll tell you something else. If somebody's wearing red shoes, they're trouble. Red has to be at the top, not at the bottom. If somebody's red wearing red shoes, watch out. Be on guard. You might say, you're, ju you're profiling. I don't care what you call it. I know what the hologram says. If I see somebody wearing red shoes, I stay away from them. I'm on guard. I don't care who it is. I don't care if they're white, they're black, they're Asian, they're Spanish, they're... I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's my mama, my daddy, my sister, my brother. I don't care who it is. If they're wearing red shoes, I know to stay away from them. Because the hologram does not lie. You're in a 3D book. The 3D hologram is real, just like the Bible's real. And the Bible tells you in Proverbs and in Psalms to, to be on guard, to watch. Don't run with them to the ex same excess of right. Don't, don't stand with the scorner. Don't uh, walk with the scorner. Don't sit with the scorner. It tells you who the scorners are. It tells you who the Jezebels are. It tells you who the Delilahs are. It tells you who the 
uh, harlots are. Gomer, Jose and Gomer. Gomer couldn't sit still. She had to always run in the streets. It, the, 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 the Bible profiles every human being. Gomer would come back. She'd go back into slavery. He'd, he'd go buy her out of slavery. God told the, told the prophet to marry a prostitute. So she would go and she would go back into slavery. He'd buy her out. She'd go back into slavery. He actually named his own children after the fact that these are not my children. She would go back into slavery. Why was she, why was she in that pattern? Why couldn't she break the pattern? If you look at Moses, his wife says, you're a bloody man. Cause God, so, so Moses was uh, doing God's will. And his wife said, you're a bloody man. And then you didn't hear from her after that. She disappeared off the scene. Why? Why does God show you these types and shadows in the Bible and you don't think they apply for your 3D experience? Oh, they apply 100%. Just because you can't see them don't mean they don't apply. There's a, I just passed a house. The whole house is painted red. I might go knock on their door one day and just talk to them. Just see, just see if my theory applies to a house. I know it applies to a car because I worked with a. I've had 120 jobs in my life and I've observed. I had a red car too when I was like 17. I had a red Mustang and I know I wasn't doing right. I wasn't thinking right. I wasn't doing right. I wasn't saved. It could be that a lot of people who are driving red cars are not saved and God has got them covered because he knows they're going to get saved. He's got the blood covering. That's what happened to me. I was doing some crazy stuff. When I had that red car, I was doing some crazy stuff. By the grace of God, I'm still alive. I should be dead by now. I should be dead, but I'm still here for some reason. I must have a purpose to still be here. So the hologram, so back to what I was saying, when you start to do some exponential mushroom growth, fast growth, this will be, I'll upload this after I upload the video I already did. When you see the exponential growth, you can't do that for so long it has to crash. <laughs> and you might say, why? Because the story has to reset. I'm a, I, just, I just pulled up to Circle K. I'm going to go in here and grab a banana and an apple and the water. And uh, I noticed they wear red shirts in here. And you know, this Circle K... What do they sell? Alcohol, cigarettes, sugar. They stay open 24-7. You come up here at 2 o'clock in the morning, it's just rough people up here. It's just a rough crowd. I promise you this is a holographic story. And all your the way you dress, the way your body language, the way you talk, the way you think, everything about you is revealing, are you a sheep? Are you a goat? Are you rebellious? Are you in rebellion towards God? Are you uh, the what's the son that went away? He was the uh, the prodigal son. Are you a prodigal son? Are you a prodigal daughter? The hologram tells who's the prodigal son, who's the prodigal daughter. The pro the hologram tells who's the goat, who's the sheep. The hologram is always speaking. It's always lining up in a fractal holographic manner. So back to what I was saying, when you do mushroom growth, exponential growth, there's got to be a crash. The story has to reset. There's sacrifice and redemption. Sacrifice, redemption. Sacrifice, redemption. The more you sacrifice, the more you're going to, whatever it is, your bank account, your goal, your knowledge, whatever it is that you're sacrificing, you're going to grow exponentially. Because think about it. 
A third of your day is sacrifice and 66% is growth. If you're if you're in the 66% growth uh, zone, if you're in the zone and you stay in that zone for about 30 days, you're going to grow, you're going to have mushroom growth, but you're but you're also going to eventually have to con- you're going to come back to earth. You're going it's going to reset. So I noticed You get all that done, you, you the mountaintop experience is great, but there's also right after the mountaintop, there's a drop. And you're like, oh, what just happened? And sometimes you go into kind of depression because you, you were you were in the mountaintop experience and you went and you got dropped down. Long story short, you get back up, you start over. Everything's a renewal, everything's a recycle, everything's a renovation, everything is you start again. You reboot. You reboot. Everything's a reboot because the story has to reset. So my point is the purpose of that exponential growth and then drop is the story has to reset. There has to be a reset in the story, the storyline, because every moment and every day is that storyline of what happened at the cross. And so a lot of times the people around you, the situation, the hologram, the holographic story around you has to reset and you have to reset. There has to be death, resurrection, death, resurrection. You see it in the, in the universe. You see it, the seeds, the trees, the, the seeds fall off the trees when like April, they go down in the ground. It creates a, con- a harvest, you know, three months later. You see the seasons, the cycles, the sea suns. So if the sea suns or the seasons work in the earth, then they're also working in your body. So your body has seasons. Your mind has seasons. Your spirit has seasons. You know, I heard one time somebody talk about every seven years you change. That's true. I really believe that because seven's a number of completion. So every seven years, you shift to a new paradigm. You have different seasons in your life. And a lot of people are fighting this death, resurrection, death, resurrection. A lot of people are fighting against the sacrifice and redemption story. It's a sacrificial redemptive reality. And a lot of people are fighting against it, especially now after COVID and all. A lot of people have lost their minds. I I just went to uh, Taco Bell, and I said, I need that water. And she gave me a water, but it was carbonated water. So I walk out the door, and I have to spit it out. It was carbonated water. I go back in, and the guy says, what's wrong? I said, she just gave me carbonated water. He looked at her like she was crazy. I walk out the door when he gives me good water, and I tell the guys walking. I said, you know, I just ordered water, and she gave me carbonated water. He said, uh, the guy, the guy said, uh, that's what you get nowadays. What does that mean? That's what you get nowadays. People can't think. They're not thinking. They're not using their brain. They, they've been brainwashed by TikTok or, or some kind of app. You can't even have a conversation with people. Even doing this video, I know I'm going to get some kickback. I know it. Oh, your profile, and oh, you're thinking that some colors mean something. Yes, all the phonics, all the colors, all the shapes, all the symbols, all the letters, all the combination of letters, all the words have a deeper meaning. All the plants, all the flowers, all the mushrooms, all the rocks, all the trees, they all have different names for reason because it's a type and a shadow of a deeper truth. Why is it, okay, if you don't think that's true, why is it when everybody has a right to put a fence up in their yard, right? So I start putting this fence up. And my neighbors came across the street and were mad because I put a fence up. I have a, if they put a fence up, I wouldn't be mad at them. Why were they mad? Why were they angry that I put a fence up that I didn't have to see their Jerry Springer insanity? Why were they mad? 
the reason they were mad is because they were doing Jerry Springer show in just to get attention. And when I blocked the the it, the view, they didn't know they no longer got the attention. And so they got mad because they were possessed by the devil. Jerry Springer every week. Once I put the fence up, the Jerry Springer went away. They were angry because I set a new pattern and they didn't like it. I set a new pattern. I created a new pattern. I created a new reflection. They had to go away. They were mad because I was setting a new pattern and they had to disappear. They had to go away. So what they end up doing? They had, now they're in their backyard doing stuff. I guess there's somebody behind a house behind them that they got to show off to or something. Which is really not showing off. It's just showing their ignorance and their foolishness and their insanity and their base nature. They're just base nature creatures. Why did they get mad? Because it was a reflection. They, you know, think about it. They're over there doing Jerry Springer. Why would they do that? To get attention, to reflect, to, to push it, to get attention. And so when you block, then they no longer mean anything to you. You block them. They have no, they get no, their identity is not even there. Any. The, the only identity they have is craziness. That's how they get their identity. They don't have any real identity. So when you block them, you're shutting off their identity. That They don't matter to you. Their insanity is not even a part of your world. Uh, I can't talk about it right now, but I'll, in about a month, I'll talk about something else. And I'll, I promise you, when you don't give attention to the Draco, Ma, Drama, Jezebel spirit, they get angry and they have to go away. They have to disappear. When you don't give them attention, when you don't uh, support their insanity, they will go somewhere else to get that attention. And that Jezebel spirit across the street, actually I can see it through the bloodline, their bloodline. It's actually repeating through their bloodline, which I don't see them anymore. I've been working... Last 30 days, I hadn't seen anybody. But my point is, it's sad that they have no, the only identity they have is confusion and chaos and drama and Jerry Springer. That's all they know. And when you no longer give that any uh, acknowledgement, they have to go somewhere else. It was like it was like putting the fence up was like doing a no contact with a narcissist. And so when you do a no contact with a narcissist, what happens? Because the nar so the narcissist is the Jezebel spirit. It's a narcissistic system. So when you go no contact with a narcissist, what happens? They go crazy. And then when you hold that you hold that uh, no contact for thirty days, sixty days, ninety days, they have to find new supply. And they know that you don't play their game anymore. It's the same pattern. When you put the boundary up, they have to go throw a fit. Why did they come across streets wanting to see what was behind the fence? There's nothing on the other side of the fence. It's just a boundary. Why does it make them mad? Why does it make them mad that I put up a fence? But if they put up a fence, I wouldn't be mad. I would be happy. Why are they mad? Or why were they mad? Why? Why is it when you put up a boundary, the narcissist gets mad? The Jezebel gets mad? The Delilah gets mad? They got to defame you, lie about you. Why is it when you have exponential growth, they get mad? Why? Why? Why is it when you can see deeper than them and they can't hear what you're saying, why do they get angry and attack you and lie about you and defame? Why? Because they don't have an identity. 
They're void, and they only get their identity out of you seeing them. It's sad. It's sad, and it's sick at the same time. And all they have to do is run to Jesus. And I know part of it is the devil's system, the music, the TV, and the noise, and the lies. Everybody's been... As long as you got no, you'll never see the simulation. They're they're AI programs. They're AI flesh mind narcissistic creatures, base nature creatures, and they are running on a program, and they don't know how to escape it. But when you give them the gospel and say, "Trust Jesus, run to Jesus, believe on Jesus, receive Jesus," they get mad and run away because they love their sin, they love their death, they love their lies, they love their delusion, they love darkness, they love death, they love their death. It's a death cult, and it's all around you. When you put up a boundary, and you change, and you transform to your new state, people get mad because it's actually making them it's actually making them look bad because you're growing and they're going down you're growing and they're going down you're spiraling up and they're spiraling down no wonder they're mad they're actually mad at God because you're the elect You're the saint, and they're the ain't. The saints and the ain'ts. The ain'ts are mad at the saints, but they could be a saint if they wanted to be, but they don't want to be because they have to die to pride and die to their self, and they love self, and they worship self, and they can't die to their self because it's all about me, 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 me.